Hello my soccer universe for another unpacking video. I think the background gives it away and my shirt uh, will talk about something French of course. But a little backstory. Um, yes, me telling that I'm not gonna uh, <laughs> buy any jersey in January. Well, it was not quite true because I got the Leverkusen shirt. Uh, but I really tried to hold on for as much as possible. The salary for January, but you know, this kind of resets it. The end of January, yeah, I couldn't hold it anymore and I needed to order something. Uh, it was really, really hard uh, to stick to that because there was uh, mid January, January, and I knew about it that this would come 20% off of classic football shirts, and I even spent some time selecting jerseys. Invited my wife and my kids in here um, and you know, we selected uh, three jerseys because you need to get over the hundred pound mark um, and then also uh, Make sure uh, That you stay under 150 euros. So 100 pound mark to get free shipping stay under 150 euros uh, In total value of the parcel which uh, was actually kind of uh, tight and the reason was there was one particular shirt uh, of a particular team that I want to get uh, that then my wife said um, this will be a present for a little bit later this month so um, I'm not gonna reveal it now to keep the suspense a little bit. I uh, was in there so I spent a little bit more but then I decided okay if I look at this and then the exchange rate uh, pounds to euro at the moment is uh, 1.2 so it's a 20% on top and then I don't know coming from England the last time I didn't have to pay anything but you know it could be another 30 and I said nah it's not worth the trouble to get uh, this particular shirt that my wife wants to gift me. And then I was reminded, you know, you know, it is from my conversation with him, Amour du Maillot, uh, that he made me aware there exists a French equivalent to classic football shirt, which is vintage football area. And while that particular shirt they were looking for was not a French shirt, they had it there too. And for uh, pretty much same, if not a little bit cheaper, if I take exchange rate and you know all that, all all that in, into account, so even with the twenty percent off, I would have gotten it cheaper this way. Um, and it turns out that shipping from them to us uh, is only ten bucks. And so I said, okay, let's add on another French team to make it worthwhile. And it's a French team that I've been wanting for a while because it's from a town that's it's probably the French town that I've been the most to two uh three times and so here the parcel came rather fast so not only as quickly vintage football area i mean um it is is kind of hot and cold with them from my conversation with them he's selling them shirts but i have to say i uh, dealing with them was super easy i could get the the shirts i ordered them it came super quick much quicker than uh classic football shirts so if you're within the eu uh, and you know 10 euro shipping from France to Austria to me that is a uh, very very reasonable uh, pricing and so yeah I just want to make it worthwhile uh, to not only order one shirt and then add 10 uh, euro shipping I think if I pay shipping I, I usually want to get two shirts and so here it is big package there are two shirts in there I will just check on the one but I will not show it that is that I will give to my wife to package it up for our next little holiday that we're celebrating yes we have a gift giving culture uh in our family and i like it very much but uh, she basically she always asked me for uh yeah i can always say for valentine's day she wants to get me some jersey and uh i always then pick one that is rather rather nice we had now ajax jerseys twice in a row i think there was an ireland jersey in there and now it will be another team that was high on my list that I really um, decided yeah I get to and then yeah when ordering from a French store you should get a French team yeah this looks all right so it's very well packed of course they put this now both shirts in the same bag so I have to careful I, I really don't want to reveal it now <laughs> I'll take this uh, shirt out and I'll show you the packaging. Uh, the shirt looks all right. So basically, nice bag with the logo, vintage football area. Uh, there's a Merci coming with it that I really like. Merci. I'm sure it will 
uh, I will like it. And um, there's even a QR code that tells you how to preserve your jersey. I don't know. I mean, it's not vintage. Uh, it's not um, classic football shirts style, but it is quite good. And then they even gave me two Japanese stickers from 2010 for the Panini sticker album. I will give this probably to, to my kids. But you already saw it from the uh, from the packaging. So there was another shirt in there. I got a Strasbourg shirt and I said Strasbourg is uh, the town that I think I've been three times to already and I, I really like the town and so oh, and you know it's kind of my goal to get from every town that I've been to uh, Jersey and Strasbourg is also a Ligue 1 team. If you look at my Ligue 1 background I think I'm, I can make it all French uh, and even wearing one the problem is uh, if I want to make it all French I have three PSG shirts and uh, two car shirts so it's uh, kind of a little bit too much doubling up so I want to actually get it to a point where it's a little bit uh, where I have every space is filled with only one team one German, one uh, <laughs> in uh, American slash English. Um, and then in addition, uh, and this is not, I chose these jerseys for a particular, uh, there are th three teams that are currently playing in Ligue 2, which is of course Caen, uh, which I'm very happy to have because uh, it's a town that I've been to. Amir um, is also a town that I've been to uh, and there are unicorns on there, so my daughters like it. And Nim, I have not been to Nim but the crocodile pattern I needed to get and I could get this rather for cheap. But yeah, this Strasbourg shirt here I have been looking at for quite a while. And now I got it for, I think it was 35. It's, I think, two seasons ago, I was in 1920. Uh, it's an Adidas template, but I have to say it doesn't look, it. I actually like the one. It's you know, a template that I don't have like a lot of dotted pattern. I gotta say, although the sponsor, I mean, typically French is really big, I really like, it's just two letters, the letters in the green leaf, it fits actually quite, quite nicely, although there's the um, red in the crest. Uh, I got the Ligue 1 logo, that is pretty special, I have to say. <laughs> it even has something in German here, Jetzt geht's los, which is now it starts, it's kind of a chant. Yeah, I, I, I'm quite happy with this one. And then, uh, you know, it's the EU. So I think even the back, the sponsor kind of fits a little bit. So um, EU capital. Uh, I, I have to say I'm really happy with this jersey. Uh, I think Stras Strasbourg did, did even quite well uh, that season. It's a very nicely done uh, logo, uh, nicely stitched. So I'm quite pleased with that one too. Yeah, as I said, it's, it is a template that maybe it was not super loved but i think uh, i find it quite interesting it has kind of a little jeans feel to it uh, uh, the way the colors were chosen here and i guess i like that so yeah let, let me know if you have a strasbourg jersey in your collection uh, and how you like this jersey uh, and if you have come across vintage football area before or if this is something new to you if you're in the uk i'm not sure if it is worth for you but for me uh, being in the eu and uh, in europe this is definitely worth it uh, it's a very good alternative uh, for that so in any case drop a line below please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and the shirt uh subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this yes there will be another unpacking coming for another shirt it's lying right here it's very special and i will give it now to my wife to take it away and yeah I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.